Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry I haven't been on here. Um, I've been working on my TikToks, and if you guys have TikTok, I'd love if you'd check me out. I have the same name as I do here. Um, I'm just really trying to get back into cosplay, but with that being said, um, I'm so excited to get into these boxes. Um, my package has been delayed so many times with UPS. I finally got them, and I am nervous, you guys, because I've never been a person to get any kind of like box subscription or any type of mystery box because I'm just typically the type of person where I like to know what I'm gonna get and I never would have thought that I would have done this but uh, I started doing something many years ago where um, if I was didn't have anyone for a Valentine's Day I would still celebrate it I love like the aesthetic of Valentine's Day I love everything about it and um, yeah what I'll do is I'll buy something for myself and I don't know the way that Jeffrey just advertised this video and he only did it on Instagram and he was saying that there were so many exclusive things I figured I'm like well if there's something I don't like I'm sure that I could always sell it or you know but anyway with that being said let's start off with the deluxe box here we go okay so the tissue paper matches, of course, and I see something pink. I'm so excited! Okay. <gasps> There's a little heart bag. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to act fraudulent because I did accidentally get a spoiler. I honestly, yesterday, I was just like, okay, I'm going to stay off like any type of social because I got a spoiler for this thing. Um, oh, I guess it's not a cross. Oh, it is a crossbody. Okay, so it looks like this. It has these two long zippers. I kind of like that they're longer like this, so it's easier to grab, especially since it's a smaller bag. So, funny story is the reason I wound up getting these was because I had saved and anticipated um, for getting a coach purse, the heart shaped coach purse. And I missed out on getting that and so that was kind of the push for me too that I was just like okay I'll get the I'll get the boxes and and you know like I said I Jeffrey definitely convinced me into it and when I saw I think it was yesterday or the day before I saw this on like someone's thumbnail or something like that I was like oh that's kind of interesting that that happened because I wanted like a kind of like a heart shaped type of purse and I like that it's small. I wish it was a little bit bigger just so I could fit my phone in here but because I'm pretty sure that I have the um, Note uh, 21 Ultra I think, and it's kind of it's pretty big so I don't think it'll fit in here which kind of sucks but um, I can you know check my wallets in there and stuff like that so that's cool. Okay so I got a Supreme Frost and this is in frozen peach. I don't think that this is new. I really, I'm really not a highlight person. Um, I do have some highlighters that I own. Um, but this looks like it could go with my skin tone. Um, I'm not sure if you guys could tell. I don't know why I look like tanner today. But anyway, um... I will look into this and see if it's a regular, if, if it's part of the regular line and see if I, I won't swatch it because I don't know if I'm going to like hang on to it or not. But let me know if you guys have used this and if you guys do like it and, you know, definitely convince me into it. Okay, so this is one, this is definitely limited edition. Um... Oh, I don't think it said this before. It says shake well before use and it's called Pink Kitten. Very, very cute name. Ugh, I'm kind of bummed that I'm kind of bummed that I ripped that there, but it was really stuck in there. So hopefully I like the color <gasps> and I do like the color. Okay, so we're good. Okay, let's it looks like it has like purpley pink flakes in it. And it's kind of like a, 
I think it's showing up like more red on camera. Okay, anyway, so this is the packaging on it. I do very much love the packaging. Um, I My favorite packaging so far is, I think it was the Christmas collection a few years back where it had like the glitter on the top. That one is the best, um, but I really like that it has like kind of like holographic uh, silver on there. But yeah, I kind of want to put this on, but I'm scared it's going to look bad and I already feel off today. So we're going to wait on that one, but I will swatch it for you guys. Okay. It's unscented, which I honestly, I do like that. Um, because like, for example, like the root beer, I was not a fan of that. Okay. So I do really think I'm going to love this color. Um, it's a very unique color, honestly. It's like, it's like pink, a pinky red that's also like mauvey, and then it has the glitter, and I know that, well, I'm hope, we'll see if it's the kind that like you can rub on it and the glitter will show more. So we'll see on that one. That's really awesome. I'm happy about that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a mini breaker in here, and I have the Jawbreaker palette, and that palette is just top for me, okay? If you do not have that and you're thinking about it, like, and you're still thinking about it like me, or like I was, um, 100% get that palette. It has amazing, amazing pigmentation, and the colors are just uh, incredible. Okay, so... I'm sure you guys have seen this, but I'm so excited. I have to look at it myself. <gasps> Hyperventilation. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so nice, honestly. Okay. So, yeah, again, I know you guys have seen this, but I'm really excited about this color here and the pinks as well. Um, I'm actually kind of hoping, that was another thing I was going to say, I'm hoping that the Pink Religion palette is in one of these. I really, really, really wanted it when it came out, and I just could not afford it. And, um, yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's in there. So, uh, the other one that I would love to uh, get is uh, the, the Nude palette, because that at, at that time, again, I also could not afford to get it. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nude palette by Jeffree Star, so it's, it was a big deal. But anyway, so, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show. Um, I got a nude liner in Posh Spice, which I will uh, wind up keeping this. I'm pretty sure that I haven't tried the liquid lipstick, if there is one for, for Posh Spice. And I'm not typically a brown uh, lipstick that I, I don't typically like brown lipstick, but this one, oh my gosh, it's not what I expected. I was expecting it to be darker. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm going to love this with the gloss. I'm pretty sure that that's going to happen. Okay, so I got a setting powder in lavender. Interesting. Um... I have a lot of face powders right now, so I'm not too excited about this, but I definitely don't have a lavender one, and it makes me excited, actually. I, okay, I'm just everywhere right now. This is, so far, I'm so happy with this, and I was just not, I was honestly expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, um, but anyway... Okay, I'll have to do some research on, like, how to use this, maybe. Okay, let me know if you guys have tried that. Okay, I just got a spoiler. Okay, so there's some singles in here. Undertaker. It would be really cool. Um, I haven't... Ooh, it would be really... It would be really cool if there was some shadows in here that um, are limited edition... And also, um, po possibly part of the Alien palette. Okay, so this is kind of like a dark purple, maybe? Okay, I spoke too soon. So it's like a dark navy. Now this, I'm very excited about. It looks like it's virgin. I feel like this one might be in the... 
I forgot the name of the palette, the red one. I think it might be in there, but I honestly use um, whites or off-whites like this so much. Um, I'm actually wearing that all over my lid today, or not virgin. I don't, actually I don't know if it's virgin. It's the one in his first palette that he ever came out with, the Beauty Killer. And I absolutely adore that shadow. I think he discontinued that palette, which I'm kind of sad about, but hey, he's releasing other things. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so this one's called Chameleon Fetish, and it is a lime green, and I love lime green eyeshadows. Yeah, this is very unique. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Okay, so this guy is a very unique, um, I'm not sure how well it'll pick up on camera, um, but it is like a true like pastel highlighter green. Um, this one is unique, so I love that I got that. Okay, one more in here. Blood sugar. Okay, so I'm not mad about it. Um... But I'm pretty sure that this is, oh, it's so pretty though, um, in, uh, how did I forget the name? The, you, do you see what happens to me? I just, I get nervous when I come on here and I don't know. And it's, it's just an off day for me. I'm trying to get a lot done in one day. So anyway, okay, so this is the orgy oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys I really wanted this when it came out like you guys oh my gosh like wow no regrets no regrets oh my gosh is Jeffrey not on the front in this picture excuse me why not it's okay it's okay oh i think he's on this one. Oh, okay that's fine because i probably won't keep the box anyway okay <gasps> jeffrey okay okay wow oh my gosh okay hold on <gasps> oh i'll get rid of that i don't want it to stab the shadows look at that honestly Okay, so I really love having a collection of shadows. I love playing with eyeshadows. I want to get back to doing just diverse things, but I've been really into like the anime girl aesthetic. And so what I always go back to or what I always feel the prettiest in now is just nudes, just nudes, nudes, nudes. And this is perfect. I'm so happy. So, um... Yeah, we'll set that to the side. Okay, now I have a queen bitch. Is this, you guys, is this limited edition? Is this special? I don't know. I'm not, um, okay, so the colors in here are purpley. Um, I love his liquid lipstick formula, okay? But this is what I'm talking about with, like, mystery stuff where I'm just like, will I, you know, the colors, will I be using these? But a lot of these are so nice, and I do like purples, purpley colors. I'll have to see. I don't think this is, like, a limited edition thing. Am I right? I don't know. We'll see. We will see because I have to think, I have to think on some of these. I am so happy. I do not regret it um, because like I said, you guys, like I wanted to try something new because whenever I've done like Valentine's Day stuff for myself in the past, I definitely know what I'm getting or I definitely, of course, make the decision um, and I thought this would be like a cute idea, you know, because I just, it has been many years since I have um, uh, chosen a valentine. So I was just like, you know, I want to try to feel like I'm getting a gift. Now we're going to get into the Supreme box and I'll let you guys open it with me first. 
Oh, okay. I guess that was anticlimactic. I'm sorry. I love that he just does this. That he just, the tissue paper matches the box. It's just so... Okay, so right on the top of this guy, we have a nudes one. Okay, and they sound like they're rolling around in there. Okay, so this is amazing. I love this so, so much because I'm not going to say it again, but now I can try everything. I have not tried androgyny. I have not tried... Um, Posh Spice, I don't think, Rose Matter Gemini, Leo, Skin Tight. I haven't tried these. I think he had said, too, that one of these is exclusive to this, or a couple of these. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But you guys can correct me down below. I'm so excited for that. And I like that they're smaller um, because I just, I haven't been wearing that much liquid lipsticks lately, you know, because I'm usually always wearing a mask. But I do want to get back into it, especially now that I'm cosplaying more have a little advertisement as I did in the other one for Jeffree Star Skin. How do you guys feel about this? I do not know how to feel about this because in one part, um, I feel like Jeffree would hire people and Jeffree, you know, does take care of his skin. So I, I don't see that it would be a dud, but I'm so picky with my skincare. So, you know, Okay, so now we have the shirt, and I knew it was going to be a shirt. I almost got an extra large, but I just wasn't sure what it was going to be, and I, yeah, but I should have known. But anyway, um, this is the shirt, and it says Heartbreaker on the back with the same logo there, and I wound up getting a medium because I just wasn't sure, um, but it looks, it still looks pretty oversized, so, um, I feel like it'll be comfy and maybe I could still wear it without pants. We'll see. Um, okay, and then we have something in here. This might be the highlighter that he had shown the outside packaging for. Yep, it is Heartbreaker. And I love the packaging. I did not notice that this was like hollow. That's so pretty. I hope that the actual palette is similar. Did he show it already, I think? Maybe not. Okay, it's not, but it's still pretty regardless. You could see the little Jeffree Star logo shining in the light there. <gasps> okay, um, again, not a highlighter person, so we'll see if I like this. Oop, let me flip it because I think there's a mirror. There is a mirror. Okay, so it's a pink and a peach and is it like a dark brown? The peach is really wanting me to keep it it really makes me want to keep it though because i feel like it might work really pretty um really nicely with my skin um but the other two colors i know that uh there's also a technique where you'll have like a pinky highlighter to work with your blush but mm, i might wind up i might wind up selling this guy i don't know yet i don't know i got a lip scrub i was really excited about this i have been having such a hard time with my lips lately they have just been so dry and i'm trying to get rid of the laneige lip mask and i feel like every time i put that on at night i wake up and my lips feel worse so i'm probably not going to use that thing anymore um but anyways, yeah, that's it right there. It is sherbet or rainbow sherbet flavor. I do believe that he had already released this. Mmm, it smells so good. I cannot wait to put it on my mouth and eat it as well. I will be eating it. <laughs> Not out of the jar, but you know what I mean. So I got razor blade and I do have the weirdo palette, so not crazy excited about this but I do know that it's a beautiful shimmer and then I got weirdo and I already have weirdo um from the weirdo palette as well and I got only child okay and I just glanced down and I am disappointed right now because I got another orgy palette and as happy as I was with the first one I do not want a second one so I'm not even gonna get it out because I will be reselling this um 
I really wish he would have put the pink religion palette. Um, I feel like that would have been the move. That would have been amazing. I don't know if he typically does this where he'll put the same thing in uh, both. Um, but that's a bummer. Okay, so I got the selfie uh, ring light. And let's see how it looks in person. It looks pretty cool when he was showing it. Comes with a charger. That's nice. And that's what it looks like. It looks like it... I hope it fits on my phone. Hmm. I think it will. I think if you have an OtterBox, this would not work for you. Um, the thicker one, but I have the slim fit otter box, so hopefully it does fit. Okay, I got two glosses. I'm so bummed right now, low key. Like, why did he do that? I feel like normally, I feel like I normally have seen people that they'll grab both, like, they'll get both boxes. I don't know. Okay, so it's angry. It's not wanting to come out. What's happening? So I got it. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a milky pink. I really love it. This is in the shade Control Freak. I don't know um, if that is limited edition or not. I don't think so because the packaging on both of these looks the same. And then this other one is called Let Me Be Perfectly Clear. And... Um, it's just a clear gloss, so I won't even bother getting out because it's kind of difficult for me. I got a Casper MTN. I'm not sure. Okay. Very nice. I don't know how much use I will get out of that one, to be quite honest. But again, maybe hopefully with doing more colored eyes, uh, or colorful looks. So this one's called Owl Eyes. And it's like a shimmery, bronzy gold. Okay, so this is called Yellow, and it is Magic Star. So I'm thinking this is a concealer. Okay. Um, maybe this will work for me. Maybe with this tan shade that I have on my face. I don't know. What does yellow conceal? I feel like it is supposed to conceal something. I can't remember. So I guess I'm going to have to do research. Okay, and I got um, a lip liner in Calabasas. This is Calabasas, and I don't know if I want to swatch it because... Okay, let's hope. Oh, okay. It kind of reminds me of Kylie Jenner's Kristen. So... Okay. Okay. Not upset that I swatched it. Okay. This is a velvet trap. The packaging is very cute. Oh, I like that it comes out like that. Okay. So I've tried his original bullet lipsticks and I have to be honest and say I'm not a fan of those. It doesn't work with my lip. I love this packaging in comparison to the first packaging. This feels heavier, way heavier, way more like luxe feeling. Okay, this reminds me a little bit of, okay, maybe it slipped my mind, but uh, anyway, it's so nice. The texture really is velvety. It is a brown lipstick, which I'm not a fan of, chocolate fondue. Does it smell? Mmm, it does smell. Yum. It smells very good. Uh, ooh, and it's magnetic. I wish it was a different color, but um, hey, maybe... I'll look up swatches of it, and I have been wanting to get into browns too, especially when I do like more of my like goth glam looks. I feel like browns could look so nice. And I got Cutthroat Love, and it looks like this is another limited edition one, and the thing is going to rip again. I love how the other ones just come out so easily, and these don't, but I think it's because of the metallic packaging. I spoke too soon. This color is so beautiful. Holy, holy. I won't say it, but if you know the Britney thing from TikTok. Okay. 
<gasps> it's like a chocolatey deep red. Delicious. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of those, which those would be probably the ones that would be the easiest to sell. Okay, and one more thing here. I got a Supreme Gloss. Um, I don't know the difference. Maybe these are like more pigmented, maybe? Okay, let's see. Okay, it's like a a mauvey purple. So I love I really love that. I and I kind of figured too with like it being Valentine's Day that the color stories would be something that I would like. Um so that's another reason why I was like, okay, I'll try the mystery boxes. But I'm still so disappointed on the um on the palettes. I'm very bummed about that, but oh well. Okay, so this is the mirror and it's so cute. I love that it says heartbreaker on it. Jean, it comes in is super cute and it is a harp shaped mirror. It's so cute. I really like his mirrors <gasps> and I'm going to love using this. I'm just going to feel so cute. Ooh, I'm just going to feel so cute using this. So I'm happy that I got that. So I feel like guys, if it just would not have had that duplicate palette, if I would have gotten that pink religion in here, I would have been over the moon. And I am a fan of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I, I love Jeffree Star. And um, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just so bummed about that because now I have to worry about trying to sell that. And mm, I just wish I wasn't in that predicament. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing, I'm not so sure on the purple lipsticks. Um, just because, you know, purple, but, um, yeah, other than that, uh, and then a lot of the singles, I feel like, um, are just not, uh, singles that, uh, I don't know, that I'm gonna reach for a lot, so would I do this again? Um, I would not, and it's kind of, uh, ingrained it in me now that, um, I was kind of right in my logic of thinking like, hey, it's not the best idea or how I would speak to myself to get something or pay for something that you don't know what's in there because um, I did spend um, a lot. I did spend a lot and I know that there's people out there that are like die hard. I have a lot of Jeffree Star uh, products myself, but I know that some people, they have to have everything. And like maybe to some people it's like worth it to get like the limited edition stuff. Um, but yeah, I almost like, I don't know. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys got a mystery box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. I'm going to try to film an update on my project pan because I know you guys really like that video the most and um, again please check me out on TikTok if you do have a TikTok. Um, same name as it is here and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.